making me all frizzy. <laughs> Welcome to Key 103. I'm Dina Carroll. This is Danny Gurry, and we are teaching you how to do some hair color. So first things first, you want to comb out your hair, your patron's hair. You want to use dry hair. You don't want to apply color on wet hair. Now there are some colors that do have you apply it to the wet hair. No, That'll I'm be over here so you can kind of be okay. Able to. Oh, I don't there care. Go. That'll be noted on the box, by the way. So. Um, Oh, sorry. One second. Hopefully the person has a hard head and you're not going to hurt them. As you remember, last time we were Facebook Live, we did a haircut. Hopefully that tutorial was helpful to you. Now we're going to be doing a hair color. So how do you pick <laughs> How do you pick the color that you want? So here's the thing. When you've got some red undertones and that's what you want to keep, then you want to do like an auburn, something that has that in it. Um, something that has the red undertones. If you want to tone that down, then you want to go with a green base, something that has a violet base, like an ash. That's helpful. Ash will tend to go look a little bit purpley, so I just want to forewarn you that that tends to happen. If you've got, um, I'm trying to think here, if you, you know, you the thing is you can try a semi-permanent first to see if you like the color when you're selecting colors. And what's and the difference? I mean, I don't ever see semi-permanent or just like those washout kind. Yes, they oh, wash okay. out in six to eight washings. Okay. You know, as opposed to six to eight weeks. So that's the difference. Now, when you have a permanent hair color, you'll get that line, you know, the gray that's coming in, and that's how you know that it's a permanent hair color. When you have a semi-permanent, it's washes Show out altogether. So these are the colors. So Danny ordered always, these online, I always right? Mix, yeah, I ordered them at okay. Walmart.com. I always use mixed two colors. So I go with this kind of burgundy and a dark brown. It's interesting because Danny's hair, when you look at it, looks black to me. So her hair really absorbs that color. And that's the other thing. When you're doing a touch-up, you want to apply to your roots. So you want to apply, so if you're looking at your own hair and you part your hair right here, that's where you want the color to start because you want that to be on this part the longest. Okay, so that's where you're going to apply the color first. That tends to be the most resistant here. And then what I'll do is I'll typically go around the hairline too to keep it on there as well the longest. And then I'm going to start with my sections and I'm going to do the crown first. Tends to be the most resistant and then I'll work my way back. Doing just the roots first and then we leave that on for about 25 minutes and then you'll go back and do the entire hair color. If you're joining us, make sure that you make a comment and if you have any questions, yeah. we're happy to ask. How are you? How are you doing? Okay, so what I did was I forgot my big bottle so I mixed these two little ones together and I'm going to pour them in a cup. Only and pro home. here. Yeah. All pro for so, the at-home. Uh, thank you, Roy Rogers, <laughs> for supplying the cup. All right, please don't uh, let this go everywhere. Uh, comment, ask questions, give us a thumbs up if you're watching. Hope you guys are doing well Yeah. while absolutely. you're at home. How does your hair look? I mean, this is, this is actually, this is so sad. No, so it's fine. Sad. The grays. Too young. Yeah, not that's, really. That's, oh, I should have brought my um, my brush. I could have just used the brush in here. What do you mean? The hair what? color brush. Oh. There's Goodness. a hair color brush? Yes. <laughs> what does it do? It gets on the roots. So Never you kind of. In my life, seen anything. Really? Like that. Oh, yeah. So now I mix the two colors together. Mmm, doesn't it look like pudding? Don't drink it. <laughs> Don't drink it. See, normally I would just take the one color, kind of go do the root area. I would take the other color, kind of do the root area too. But I, I'm together. like, no, we're going to mix them together. She's all pro. She's well, I don't know about that, but I don't know if I like that sound. <laughs> Fred's like, don't spill hair color in the studio. Okay, boss. <laughs> we won't. We might, we might not be on the air tomorrow. <laughs> I should probably do this over a garbage. <laughs> Just in case. Okay, um, so coming up, so we want to tell them some of the things that we've got going on. If you are a mom, encourage your kids to go to our website and nominate you to win, not nominate. Tell them, say, hey, you need to brag about me. Look at that. That's pretty good. Yeah. Don't. Nope, I'll, I'll, I'll talk. Watch. I'll yeah, talk. You talk. Tell them about the mom so, contest. So uh, we are celebrating Mother's Day coming up, May 10th is Mother's Day. Dads, you need to 
ladies, here's what you got to do. Because you know your husbands aren't going to remember. And kids aren't going to be bringing home those projects from school that you've gotten your whole lives for Mother's Day. So dads need to be prepared. So leave a few little sticky notes around saying Mother's Day is May 10th. Get ready. And then hopefully dads can can get stuff ready. What they can do, though, dads can go right to key103radio.com. Click on contests. And you'll see our Mother's Day giveaway. And we would love to give you a $50 gift card to Bonefish. Nice. They do delivery in some areas. I believe Frederick is doing deliveries. Or you can do carry out. And all they have to do is explain uh, or describe you in three words using M-O-M. So marvelous, right. outstanding, yeah. magnificent, yep. or anything like that. Yeah, or you can feel like, you could enter you to win. Mom is the greatest uh, <laughs> no <laughs> just three words <laughs> well, i was trying to be creative but like, i know a sentence i got nothing i know <laughs> oh my she was goodness trying, though. i was, she trying. was trying okay so now that i've mixed my two colors together in our handy dandy Roy rogers cup <laughs> i poured them back into one bottle so now we've actually mixed those two colors legitimately together yeah. you too could do this at home so i'm going to start from her crown Again, where she typically has the absolute most um, gray and where she parts her hair. So you're just going to do it on the roots and then you're going to take the other hand and just kind of rub it in right along the root line. You're just doing the regrowth here. Um, now, I, you'll notice that some of your hair colors are more of a gel. I prefer a gel because it's not quite as runny and it stays where you put it. Here we have to be a little bit careful that I'm not going to drip on her forehead. And, She'll have that. I have nowhere to go. Yeah, well, tomorrow morning you'll be like, wow, look at I that. St- She's got like a really thick brown line <laughs> around her entire head like a halo. I can wash it off. It's all good. So okay. usually uh, my daughter has been at helping me to color my hair for a long time. But uh, I have, I don't know if I've ever gotten Ashley to help me. I've tried to do it myself It's harder before. on yourself. That's it is I really it. hard. Actually, I think a few times ago, I did it myself and I left a big patch. That's typically There was happens. gray in the middle of my head in yeah. the back. Right and here. I, yeah. That's typically what yeah. happens. Yeah. Horrible. So now I've done my first line. So now I'm going to take the tip of my applicator bottle and use it to create another line. And I'm going to just separate. Is that how you do it at home? Yeah. Okay. So that's typically what you're going to do to separate. And you want to do small sections so that you can really get good coverage. Hopefully you guys are surviving while being at home. Yeah, what are you up to? Really praying that this all ends soon. All ends soon, yeah. So I am curious. I saw somebody else, one of our Facebook friends that Danny and I have mutually, they posted, you know, kind of like a status thing. Is there anyone in Facebook land who has not been outside their house yet? At all. At all. Like you have, you've just completely stayed in. And if that is you, I'm curious how you're doing and what that feels like. Because Danny and I have a different perspective since we've been going to work every day. So how is that for you? How is that going? Yeah. Yeah, I contacted my, uh, I know, this is, uh, this is I <laughs> could is fall soothing. asleep. I love, I love, Everyone love, loves love. getting, I always yeah, give my head. husband a hairbrush, and I'm yeah, like, uh, just come on, yeah, yeah, oh, rub my yeah. head. Yes. Oh, my gracious. Isn't that the best? It is the best. Oh, I don't man. know, you must have, like, the most sensitive somethings in your brain area, yeah. head area, I'm yeah. telling you, having your scalp massaged. Oh, the best. And I get mad if I do go to a salon. And they jip you on that? And they jip you on the head massage? Oh, my gosh. No tip for you. Yes, it's (laughs) awful. You get so, it's awful. Well, it's funny because I started out as a shampoo girl, as a lot of us in in um, in the field do. And you'd be surprised how many people. And I used to do a really good, like, thorough, like, spend, like, three to five minutes just on that. And they would tip you. And what? Tip your shampoo person. I'm telling you that, it's worth it. you know, head massages didn't start. They, it never used to be that way, at least the places right. that I went. Right. It was only, well, it's probably been, well, when I first went to get my hair done in Australia, when I lived over there. So mm-hmm. I moved over to Melbourne, Australia in 2000 after Ash and I got married. And um, 
I went to the hair salon in Melbourne and they did and it was a full. It was probably five to ten minutes. It was the best. Oh my gosh! It was all. It was like five being at a spa. Oh. Yeah, it was awesome. Did you fall asleep? I did probably <laughs> snoozed a little bit, <laughs> but um, I was like, oh my goodness! The of course they should do. I mean, yeah. that's the great. That was the greatest thing that's ever. That's the best part of the whole thing. Was the best part. Was the best part. And then when we moved back here, I was excited Pardon that. my arm. Did you get it on yourself? No, no, no. Oh. I was, my arm is oh. in front of the camera. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Um, and uh, when I found out that they, you know, salons had brought it in over here, I was so excited. But it is. When you get gypped by that, oh. Not okay. I get not happy. I get not happy. <laughs> wow, I can see why you do use two bottles. Yeah, my hair is very absorbent. Yeah, it is. Very absorbent. Okay, so we're going to go down to about here with the really, really small, small sections, and then I can do bigger sections. So I'm gonna go flip her over to this side, make sure that we've got where she really is, parts her hair, that we've got that all nice and covered. Gosh, I haven't done hair color in somebody else in so long, because I haven't been in a salon for years, and I typically will just do haircuts for people, um, you know, just to help them out occasionally. We'll work for wine. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> you know, I have to tell you, so my husband and I went out over the weekend. We went to Virginia. Um, we total, what is it, total wine total, and more. Yeah, 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 they've total got wine a store. great store. They had my coupon. I didn't want of the course. coupon to expire. So we took a trip over there, and um, we're stocked. So yeah. if you're running out. Yeah, this girl with wine, I'm yeah. telling you. Oh, I'm Italian. It's like. A disgrace to my ancestors if I don't have wine in the house. It, it's rude. I would never do that. I'm don't. Italian too, but I. I well, I don't. Yeah, I, you I'm don't not like a huge, wine look, as much look as, as I do. <laughs> Our boss just walked by the window. Oh, he's popping Come his head in. in. We're in trouble. See? <laughs> I want to see if I smell it. The, oh, no, no it doesn't no smell, smell bad. No. This isn't like the old days. And the perm smell. This doesn't smell. <laughs> It's like dad walking in on huh? you when you're... <laughs> would, you, would you like to be next? <laughs> it's like, nope, I'm good. Uh, and well, it's funny because his wife um, follows us on Facebook and she's like, hey, last time when we did the haircut, you guys need to do a, a hair color. Yeah, you got it. There we go. And I needed it. So there you go. We all need it now. After being, even if you got your hair done right before the stay-at-home order, that's yeah. seven weeks. Yeah. Your hair color is grown in by now. Yeah. So yeah, I get it. Okay, so now, can you believe we're almost out? I've got to add from the other already. From, no, I I know wow. I do my hair all the time. <laughs> I was shocked. I would have run out. I would have just gotten one. Oh, I never only get one. Never only. Get I only one. need one for me. Well, and, my hair is way thinner than yours. And then half the bottles in the cup. So. <laughs> no, actually, not too bad. I have to say, not too bad at all. I was surprised that it, you know, it's really... This is a lovely look. I should just continue <laughs> with this. What do you guys think? Where's, where's your husband? Hey, Ash. Want to go out on a date, baby? <laughs> I know how you like how me now. How about a date now. to the living room? How you like Maybe me now? to the loft. <laughs> to the loft. Yeah. How about to the garage? Be so like, let's yep. see. Tomorrow on the Key 103 Morning Show, we'll give you a heads up. We are doing uh, fun and right games. On. Yep, at 8.30. The price is right on. You have to check out the image we'll post tomorrow morning, but it's like a full-on fleece snuggy type yes. thing. You can put your legs in. So while you're lounging on the couch, because I still find it pretty chilly. I mean, I our heater oh, still has kicks been on. Absolutely. I can't wait for the days when it's we're, a chilly we're in that in-between <clears throat> yep. mode where you don't have to have the heater on anymore. But uh, yeah, so you're going to have to guess. We're going to give you three choices. Yes, it's multiple Easy, choice. multiple choice, so check yep. that out, and it's on Amazon. I love those Snuggies. Yeah. I will say they're not good to sleep in, so yeah. we'll let you in on a little conversation. So <laughs> Danny and I also do something together called Welcome to Crazy. If you want to check it out, it's also on Facebook. We just have a whole lot of fun. But we were talking about how um, this is no joke. I have a bed bug suit because I don't like germs. And when a while back I was training for half marathons, and they were in, um, oh my goodness, Nashville. So we would travel to Nashville and I would be at a hotel, obviously. 
I would bring my own sheets and I would put them over their sheets, but I would also utilize a bed bug suit, which I would, it's kind of like a big sleeping bag. First of all, first of all, <laughs> once again, I lived in hotels for years. I, I mean, I traveled oh, for my job. Never do it. That's why oh I was living gosh. out of a suitcase. Over 230 days, I was on the road, right? Really? Oh, yeah. Man. That's how Ash and I met. Oh, wow. You know, I was doing tours across oh, the U.S. Oh, gosh. And if there were bed bugs in any of these hotels, I would literally have never stayed in them you again. Can't I wouldn't see them. go by. I'm you feel not, them, right? Not always. They bite. they bite. Well, maybe you wake up and you're like, oh, I didn't notice that I had a little thing on my leg there. That's a bed bug. They could have been. Oh well. Gosh. So I had my bed bug suit, but I kept getting twisted in it. Even though it was satin, it was supposed to slide on the sheets. There was no sliding going on. <laughs> but we were looking them up today on Amazon. They have full blown, like, head to toe. With literally like a, a helmet. Suit. It looks like a beekeeper suit, but these are but bed bug suits. And they showed one picture of a woman reading yeah, and like reading. knitting with her bed bug suit. Okay. She had a comfy little quilt quilt across her legs. It was actually so kind funny. of funny. Yeah, you guys ought to tune in. Monday nights at seven thirty oh. we do Welcome to Crazy. It's a live stream. It's a open group, so yep. you can search for it on Facebook and join us. We have a lot of laughs. We do have a lot of laughs. And every Monday night at 7.30, we go live for about 45 minutes, mm -hmm. have fun. Sometimes we Don't bring in... Don't judge us. <laughs> we go... It's called Welcome to Crazy for a reason. <laughs> Just giving you a warning. <laughs> Sometimes we have uh, guests. My sister-in-law yes. from Australia has joined us. She's a nurse uh -huh. down there. So uh, we kind of get the view on what's going on around the world from a health care perspective. I'm and just slide past uh, okay. We have uh, friends that have joined us on Welcome to Crazy as well, so yeah, it's fun. We have a good time. Yeah, we do. Oh, and oh, I forgot to tell you this, Danny. So, um, Danny's husband Ash is a techie guy. Danny's a techie girl. I am not a techie anything, so I always look to them for help. And so, my husband's semi quasi quasi techie, I yeah. guess. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. It's and cool. so he was asking Danny's husband about how to do a YouTube channel and showed him how, set one up. So he's so sweet. He surprised me. He made a Dina Carroll YouTube channel. Oh, yay. Isn't that adorable? So that the is. Facebook Lives, some of them that we've done here at Key 103 are on the Dina Carroll YouTube channel. Oh, so he was able to put them across? Yes. Nice. I, Download them. And I guess yeah. so. I yeah. don't know how he did it. Yeah. I don't know you, how that works, but. Yeah. So you have to put Dina, D-I-N-A, C-A-R-O-L-E in quotations because there's a singer, Dina Carroll. Oh. It's, that's not me. Oh, what? <laughs> so, and she spells her name a little bit different, but it pops up. So you have to put Dina Carroll in quotations, search in YouTube, and then you'll see it. So, oh, nice. Yeah. So that's kind of fun. So I wanted to let you all know that. He's, he's my biggest fan. I'm like, yeah. honey. <laughs> but you know what? He should be my biggest fan. He should be. That's right. That's right. <laughs> our husband should always be our biggest fans. How are you doing over there, Missy? Yeah, I'm good. You're good? I'm okay. Good. So we're almost done. I know this is taking longer than what, certainly what I thought, but she's got a lot of hair. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's like layer upon layer. You know, and I realized that when I cut her hair, um, but it's even more so when you're doing tiny little sections. Yeah. So also we cut um, Danny's kid's hair on Monday night just before Welcome to Crazy. And you think Danny has a lot of hair. Her daughter has twice as much hair and beautiful, gorgeous curly hair. Yeah, I, that's what mine had. used to look like. So you got a picture of what I look like 15 years oh ago. Oh my gosh, probably, beautiful, beautiful ago. hair. Yeah, she's got pretty hair. Oh my goodness. And your son has gorgeous hair too. Yeah, it's very it's thick nice and thick. And yeah. wavy. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And your husband has no hair. No. <laughs> yeah, he has no hair. <laughs> well, it's funny. I just cut my husband's hair over the weekend, too. It's like, okay, haircut time. I've got to do my son's hair as well. Um, and I decided to change it a little, so I did, like, a part over on the side. Yeah. Um, he looks so He's so hot. I got yeah, a hot. <laughs> my husband looks like Kevin Costner. And people are like, really? I think he does. That's my way of um, having a Hollywood crush and getting away with it. If I say that it looks like my husband, then it's yeah. all good. <laughs> Just want to say hi to Amanda, Amanda Smith. She hi, said, Amanda. Was she in your wedding? My wedding? Oh, Di Diana's wedding. Who's Diana? I'm not sure. Anyway, she says hi. 
And then Rita Bradley says, great job, Dina. Hey, you know, Rita. I've She's never my met, hairdresser. I know. I've never <laughs> met Rita, but might be hooking up after all this uh, quarantining. <laughs> oh, yeah. She's great. Yeah. So uh, I want to say hi to you guys. Thanks for checking in with us. Yes. Yeah, so now I'm in the back. So I've done the front and the sides where you would see it the most and where you would really notice that hair growth. So now I'm working towards the back. And just make it I mean, this is just line. lovely Facebook imaging right here. <laughs> you are this a shows, Yeah, this you shows I have no, no, I shame. Have no, <laughs> no, sh no shame at all. This will probably be the thumbnail right here. <laughs> here we go. That's the best. That is the best. <laughs> this, this is actually quarantine day whatever it is right here. This oh is the hair. Oh, my gosh, yes. I know you guys must be really feeling it if you haven't left. I do actually feel grateful that uh, that we're able to come into yeah. work every day. It is a nice reprieve, uh, a nice break to see, kind of get outside and see what's going on and see how the other halves are living. Has anyone weighed in, by the way? We asked the question earlier, if you have stayed at home since yeah. the beginning and yeah. literally not gone outside of your house, what that is like and you know and how you're how doing that experience yeah. yeah how are you doing i want to say hi carol she thinks we're silly which well, we, yeah, are we are silly. we are silly we like to have a good time we do especially now yeah especially. okay so now i'm going to go back and just kind of actually her hairline isn't too too bad and i'm going to go ahead and add some more just yeah, there you go thank you don't worry i won't poke you in the eye that's a good not intentionally anyways. yeah <laughs> But ladies, you know, this is a real issue. I mean, yeah, I, I don't like to color my hair a lot, but if I don't do it, this is, I think this has been, I think I colored right before. Yep, I did too. The quarantine yep. lockdown. Yep, so this would be what, seven, six, six seven uh, probably weeks. about six or seven weeks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you're, Since the last this time is, I colored. If you did it right before, we've already entered week seven was Monday, yeah. starting week seven. So yeah, you're so past. Yeah. And typically six to eight weeks is when you'll see. When you're gonna see that regrowth. Yeah. And you wanna use your thumb to just kind of mush in. You do wanna mush in the color into the root. And that's where a lot of my gray is Clean always at in. my uh, little side burning areas. Yep. Get those some more. Come on now, color working with. I know. See, I use a lot. This was two yeah, bottles. You were right. But I'm curious to see if you notice a difference by us doing it, mixing the two colors yeah. together in one bottle. Probably not. But <laughs> make me feel good. <laughs> lie. Just lie. Oh, Dean, it was so much better. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My recommendation, by the way, is if you're new to coloring your hair, get the semi-permanent to see if you like the color. That way it'll fade away. If you don't like it, you'll be like, oh, okay. No big deal. You don't have to wait for the regrowth. And then... Well, now's a perfect time. Do something right, crazy because right, right. really... Who's going to see you? <laughs> so true. In this. Rita says, do you mind if we share this video? Of course not. Oh, my not. gosh. You're the sweetest. How Absolutely. Sweet. So... Oh, <laughs> we're, we're spooning. Spoon. Now, we are spooning color on my hair. And this no, is, we're, and no, we don't mean I that mean, in a romantic totally way. <laughs> <laughs> Big spoon, little spoon. <laughs> this is all pro, baby, right here. I all forgot. Oh, oh, I see dribble. There, we, <laughs> there go. we go. I just wanted to get it right. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Right. We are at the dredging the bottom of the cup. Yes. Okay, so then I'm going to just go along our hairline and mush it in. Make sure that it's all, like, literally mush it in. And it's thumb over thumb. Do you see this action? Thumb over thumb, thumb over thumb. And that's going to just kind of make sure that it gets even. You're kneading. <laughs> I'm kneading her nice. scalp. <laughs> That probably feels good too. It, to some yeah, degree. it does, actually does. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do? Let me grab my tissue. I'm just gonna go along her root line and just wipe off a little bit. Now, typically, what I would do, and I forgot to bring my. Um, she came very unprepared. I did. I did bring. I did bring the cape. Yes, without um, the cape. But what I would do is I would do a little bit of Vaseline along the there hairline so that the hair color doesn't stick to the skin. That's kind of a a homemade trade secret. Yeah, a homemade trade secret, so to speak. But that's okay. Not too too bad. Okay, so now this is gonna sit on for about twenty five minutes. Is that what you've noticed yeah, is normally good for you? 25. Okay. So it is I 11 got the gray. 35. So at noon, 
we get to cook her. She's gonna cook till noon. And then what we're gonna do, I'll just kind of show you. So what I'm gonna do, there's no color left in my bottle, which is fine, because what we can <laughs> Yeah. Well, because what happens is, you don't want to do a whole head color if you're just doing a touch-up because the ends are way more porous and it'll suck up all that color. So then you'll be really, really dark at the ends and not quite as light at the roots. Yeah, so yeah. you want to, this is actually good. And what we'll do after 12, after 25 minutes at noon, I'm just going to massage and pull the color through the hair. What I could do is with the bottle that I have, the little bit of hair color left, I'm going to add some water and a little bit of shampoo, yeah. shake that up, and you do like a shampoo wash that then brings all the color to the ends. Okay? That's you what look, we're gonna do. You're like marvelous, darling. And then we'll just take a photo. So yeah, you can we'll check out the, the photo comments. in the comments. She's after. cooking. I, I am <laughs> yes, cooking. she is. <laughs> I am cooking. All right, Hi, Maria, too. And thank you so much for watching, and Thanks. thank you for listening to Key 103. I'm Dina Carroll, this is Danny Geary. Bye for now. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.